Hello plant addicts of all various colors and shapes. Today I wanted to show you a bit of an unboxing. I made an order of seeds uh, from the UK website plantworldseeds.com and this is the package which arrived. Um, I do believe I ordered it in like Friday and it arrived in Thursday. So, basically speaking, they uh, state on their website that they ship the seeds uh, two work days from the order being given, so they probably shipped it in Tuesday, and so it arrived in two days, I speculate. I did not have a tracking number for this, and like, unnecessarily expensive. Uh, but the packaging is really good, it has like this fluffiness in it, uh, I don't know how it's called, like bubble wrap inside of this. So, yeah, I think good packaging. So, I previously opened it and let's get to the contents. Definitely bubble wrap inside. And here's the letter of the order. So yeah, this is the order. I ordered four packets of seeds. And here it is. Uh, I have ordered one time before from this uh, nursery. And uh, the packaging is very lovely. These pictures are the same which are on the website. I would have preferred if they included the pictures of the actual growth style of the plants so you could see their, you know, shape and size, but they provide a little bit of a, a growing description too, you know, and a little bit of description of the actual plant and its origins. Uh, so here I have uh, five packets. I ordered four of them, and this fifth one uh, came as a bonus. Campanula trachelium or something along those lines. Uh, it's like a bell or something. Not a big fan of them. I have them natively growing on in Latvia. But, you know, I'll plant them, decorate, see what they are, you know. It's a mix, so there's means there's a bit of diversity going on. So, uh, you might have already uh, heard from one of my videos that I'm a big fan of pansies and violets. So here are two species. I'm a fan of species. Uh, this is Viola dubiana, or Dubies violet. It's it's a common small flowered violet. I think it, this species is montane and it has little leaves. It grows in little bushes. And it has uh, flowers like this, maybe with a darker throat sometimes as I've saw in Google's pictures. And this is a species I'm really interested in, Viola portalesia, and it originates from Ch Chile, or however you pronounce it, from the montane regions again. And uh, this is a small violet with nice, you know, blooms, uh, who are fairly small, uh, but it grows like a bush, 20 to 30 centimeters high. So that's very exciting for me, and I was thinking if I could hybridize it with other um, viola species. Uh, you know, stay tuned for that in the future, I think I'm going to be making videos about that uh, in May or April. Yeah. So, very excited for this species, I don't know if it's fragrant. Also a little description going on here, the website and so on and so forth. Uh, this is uh, a hybrid, Diarema blood drops. Uh, so uh, they are uh, diarema. They are these. They are these really long grass-like plants, like two plus meters, and they uh, create these beautiful bell-like flowers. And I picked out the, of course, reddest and most beautiful one. Uh, but an interesting thing about this, uh, I don't know if they know the parentage of this breed. I suppose it has diarema ignea in it. Uh, or something along those lines. Uh, but yeah, this uh, this is, uh, you know, 
seeds collected from a hybrid, which means its offspring are most likely going to be uh, varying, um, you know, in colors and stuff like that. A minus about this nursery is that they don't include a lot of seeds. And I previously, a year ago, uh, ordered this species. It had about uh, 20 seeds in this packet, and none of them germinated. So, yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, violets and pansies have a s seed germination like only three years since harvesting. So, maybe they didn't know that. I hope these are going to be fresher and better germinating. I'm going to be planting pansy seeds later, and it's quite specific. It's not as easy as you might think. So, stay tuned for that. And this is a uh, Aculigia. 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 Something. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how they're called in English, something fancy. Uh, this is a, um, basically a hybrid mix between large flowered and a very fragrant species, so looking forward to these. And this is the bonus, which is very kind. Now, uh, plant world seeds. Uh, the seed cost in one packet is around four pounds, which is a bit expensive three to five pounds I think and uh, but a very big bonus is if you order two packets uh, you get the third one for free and that's a big bonus uh, it, that's a good a smart thing to do because they include uh, you know small amounts of seeds within each packet but uh, their nursery has a very immense diversity they have like everything Vegetables, fruit trees, decorative plants, bulbs. They even sell orchid seeds. Which is very shady. <laughs> but uh, those are terrestrial orchids, maybe they're different. Uh, I don't know that much about them. Uh, but yeah, um, I have very, you know, positive stance with this nursery not necessarily a very positive experience but i have my faith in them and uh, you know i'm going to show uh, this is just the first part of the review i'm going to make uh, the second part which is going to you know speak about the germination rates of these seeds uh, but they def they write right on their uh, website that you should uh, you know perhaps give uh, a cold uh, rest or stratification for the seeds and you shouldn't uh, give up on them instantaneously because it might take a lot of months for them to bloom which is shady <laughs> but uh, they're the experts I, I'm, I, I don't have like a lifelong experience in sowing all kinds of seeds <laughs> well you know only like for five years <laughs> so yeah thank you for watching this video stay tuned for me sowing some seeds uh, bye have a nice day